Hey, this is Sam from Sure. In this video tutorial, I'll cover a frequency coordination preference that lets wireless workbench automatically calculate backup frequencies. When performing frequency coordination, some users will often calculate additional frequencies beyond those they necessarily need for each one of their channels in use. These backup frequencies can be used during a production if any one of the live RF channels happens to encounter interference. In my frequency coordination tab down below, you'll notice I have two frequencies for PSM1000 and two frequencies for Axiom Digital already selected. When I use the calculator to calculate these four frequencies, it finds them easily. And if I had four channels to correspond with each of these four frequencies, uh, I could be done if I wanted to be. However, what I'd like to do is calculate some extra frequencies for each of these systems just in case interference arises. Now what I can do is manually add backup frequencies for each of these systems by right-clicking and choosing to add backup frequencies this way or using the Add Frequencies form down below. But instead, what I'd like to do is let Wireless Workbench find as many backup frequencies for each of these systems as it possibly can. To do that, I'll go to the Coordination Preferences by selecting this gear and enabling the Automatically Calculate Backup Frequencies preference by checking this checkbox. Now, when I enable that preference, what happens is the next time I calculate, first things first, the calculator will find the frequencies that I asked for, those primary frequencies. But then, as you'll notice down below, Wireless Workbench will continue to basically fill the spectrum, calculating as many additional backup frequencies as it can find. Now, this may find more backup frequencies than you actually need, but that's okay. What you can do is, when you're happy with the number of backup frequencies that were found, you can stop the calculation, preview the frequencies that you'd like, if you want to get rid of some, you can by just deleting them. And now you've got these backup frequencies that are ready to use. If you wanted to deploy these frequencies to your devices and have the spectrum manager that you may have on your network manage these backup frequencies, that can all be done with a sign and deploy. But the auto backup, uh, the automatically calculate backups preference is a helpful way to quickly find however many backup frequencies are available in the uh, given spectrum environment. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you've got any questions, comments, or you'd like to see different types of tutorials about frequency coordination or anything else relating to Wireless Workbench 6, let us know in the comments below. Thanks.